welcome to the first episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I have played this game already, um, but I haven't beat it 100%. So that is going to be our first goal. Um, and I'd like to do a four parts, a four, four different series for this game. One for each house. So a character for each house and make them good, make them bad. You know, all that different thing. All those different things. The first character we're going to start with is going to be my own, from my own personal house. to get right into it so let's see what kind of one do we want to start with let's do let's do this one okay. all right so face shape i kind of like the face shape already but i need it to be uh, let's do right there No glasses. All right. Your hair. No. You can't have the same hair as Garrett. I really wish they would get some more hairs. It's custom stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Hmm. Let's see. I like the braid. I think we're going to go with the braid. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the braid. Oh, nope. I need to change your hair color. Let's see. It'll start all the way at the end. Okay. What color do I want? Let's do... this. Let's make her a ginger. I like that. Okay. Complexion. No, I want her to have freckles. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, a little bit like that. That's perfect. Um, no scars. Let's do eye color. Let's do that. That's pretty. Eyebrow color is fine, but let's change the eyebrows. I really like um, pointed not really like that, like angled, angled eyebrows. Right. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be con. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. Okay, we'll start it on normal. And because I am terrible at names, I'm going to use a name, fantasy name generator that is on my phone. Maybe, if I can find it. Uh, let's do right here. I think I've got like two or three of them actually. But I am always been horrible with trying to um, pick names for characters. Let's do this. 
I like Vina. Let's do Vina. Vina. Okay. What about a last name? Uh, let's do this. A a car. Vina a car. Your witch and let's start the journey let's do this ah it appears we are almost ready to depart it's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on I have professor well I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Professor Vig. I appreciate you working with me before the town begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful yes, idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I would also really love to see DLCs come out for this game to where you can do like sixth, seventh year, things like that. I think that would be amazing. I think my uh, controller batteries are gonna die. Can I skip this? Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. 
Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Could you imagine? I would have messed my pants. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. So, so pretty. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah. There's the path down below. This way! <laughs> but, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. 
What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. He does this stuff just cracks me up. Oh my goodness. I never knew this was here. I never checked before. I'm an idiot. Always check all the hidden crevices for now. stuff. It's just ahead. Just look at that. That is beautiful. Sorry, I'm coming. Almost there. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fink! someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room i don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container what in merlin's name godric's heart where are we I don't believe it. When I first played this, I thought this was like the beginning of Gringotts because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's not, Hello? by the way. <clears throat> to 
interrupting his nice nap. It can't be. It be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Yes, sir. To you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Now I do know that there is. When was the last time the this over here. was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. we should be looking for I'm not sure sir I wonder if you the might instructions for vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then and close, close the door, the door. Wait. What's the back? 
Best of luck. Professor? Thank you. That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. and try again. Cosmo! A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. So I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are Here about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling You're about. Back. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revenia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Let 
us a thing. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. Lumos. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. water. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was. Alright. Basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Come here. Come here. Dream sickle. Come here. Follow my lead. Come 
Come on. Wall is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not this is be dust. enough, Percival. My baby we does. We are entrusting the one who embarks what? on this path with powerful secrets, what? with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, what? and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trial will attack you. You better watch out. Of that knowledge. You know how he is. And the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. <laughs> That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were we all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here. Just a little one. Bygones be oh, bygones. Oh, I see him. <clears throat> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> mm, I love you. Choose your I love next you so much. Words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault Twelve were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience <laughs> for traitors. Scared. Now, <laughs> oh. where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both what wanted are you someone doing? with your ability. Come here! Stop Tell hiding behind the fan here. like a weirdo! Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
sorry. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed. Oh, I love Harry Potter so much. Knock my pop off. Stop it. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. <laughs> Come now, here, you little bird. I need to study this what locket as soon as you? I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. This is Cosmo. Ready for the sorting ceremony? He's our baby. He's a butthole. <laughs> okay, <laughs> stop. I'm just trying to love on you and pet you, and you want to be... Mr. Aggressive. <laughs> Phineas, my jealous. Stop. Black. You're lucky you're cute. Prepare yourself to meet. And you don't bite very the hard. Headmaster. I'm like dust over there. About took my finger off. Fig, nice of you to join <laughs> us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? <laughs> it seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. <laughs> really? I'm just trying to love on you, you little turd. No, not my phone. <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Lay down. Well, or not. You're just in time. Have <laughs> <a seat>. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. Thank you. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, mm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. Mm, I do. I detect a growing sense of ambition. Mm -hmm. An eagerness for power. Mm. Perhaps yeah. you belong in Slytherin. This hat knows me so daggone well. Yes, sir, I do. You I got the friggin' Slytherin. thing and everything. I don't know if y'all can see it. I got the dark mark and everything. It's my house, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. And one more thing. Ugh. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Hooey. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Huh? But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
Okay. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I want to know exactly how they're related. Like, obviously, they're related to the Weasleys we know. It's quite uncommon in for a student to begin Harry Potter. It may I'm not be sure how down the line it goes. I'm sure you're up for. So I if somebody knows, let me know. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. God, that makes me so happy. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. See, isn't that so pretty? It really is. The first time I saw this common room, I cried. <laughs> Cause I mean, it's like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. If y'all haven't seen the common rooms, they are gorgeous. I mean, look at this. This is obviously Slytherin. 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 Jesus. This is, you know, the bedroom. It's so pretty. I suppose some introductions are in order. Absolutely, we gotta meet our new favorite people. Minus one. <laughs> See? Look at how nice it is, y'all. Like, for real. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon folk. Like that poor man from the ministry. Did you see the way they just walked Oh, I love it. Sorting ceremony last night. That is not helpful. Sebastian! Come here, boo! Can I help you? I hope. Oh! You're the new fifth year. Yeah, I am. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Yeah, you Welcome are. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry <laughs> escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Thank you. Still, <laughs> impressive. I know, thank Dreadful you. way to go, poor fellow. Stop it. Glad you and Fig are all right. <laughs> it was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that <laughs> is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. When I first met him, the, my first playthrough of this game, I was like, oh, he's so nice. And then, yeah. That perspective change. Uh, might want to think that again. You might want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. 
Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps oh, one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Not you. I do not like you. <laughs> now, here's my favorite baby. Okay, so before I start this conversation, the first, the first time I played through this and I was talking to him, I was like, well, he's kind of a jerk, won't even look at me. <laughs> like, that's exactly what I said. And then I realized after that he was blind, <laughs> I felt like such a bow. I, I think I heard one. Look at his little smile. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Mm -hmm. Ominous Gaunt. Yes, you are. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Mm, thank you. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Oh, I want... Were Shut you up. expecting <laughs> to be sorted into Slytherin? <laughs> Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. You should a be. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most Fine. of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I won't be. Guarantee. It's the new fifth year Slytherin in here. Yeah. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Okay. Thank you. Ah! I forgot how fast the running was in this game. Hi. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? Yes. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Yes. I can't believe yes. I'm here. Yes. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. I know. Now, in light yeah, of your well. unique mm. situation, joining us as a fifth year, You'll need to catch up with your classmates and yes, not fall behind. Yes, ma'am. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Yes, ma'am. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding mm -hmm. level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After nice. much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. So cool. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? 
Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. What? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using God, I wish we could go faster. Also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Thank God. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Rebellion on that statue and see what details? The Kelpie statue. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Started our field god challenge. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Yes, ma'am. timing perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall I always hit the wrong button And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I can never you can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. I don't oh, accio something yet. Happening here. Yeah. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to okay. replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Sounds good. I'm excited. Thank, Thank you. you, Professor Weasley. Thank A you. lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll mm. be up to speed in no time. Awesome. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival. Specifically nothing. about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Nope. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. She's too smart. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. So. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, oh. Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. 
Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. <laughs> I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I wouldn't say masterfully, but, uh... Yes. I did my best, mm -hmm. but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Well, of course yes, she well, does. She's always Professor like... Weasley is a brilliant they know. and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. Appreciate this will that. be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Hello, oh, she is. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do Anyways. come and find me if you stumble on something. That spot that must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora? I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Because I'm smart. 
I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. Sure you You are. have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Leave it in. It's on you, boo. Isn't there... I know there's one of these arithmetic... Yeah, is that an arithmetic door? Let's see. Uh, let's get this one. Actually, we'll come back. We'll come back to it. Let's go ahead and just get our classes done for the day. Go to charms first. Oh, we have that stupid game I have to do for charms. Ugh. Come on. There you go. Let me get this. Since I'm going past it. Rebellion. Oh, I've not been reading that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Collections. Let's see. Okay. So one of the things we got was the Cobalt Regalia. It's an an ensemble for those with poise and refinement earned by solving the mystery of the empty painting frame. So we got that from the moth painting. Ooh! Oh, and this is all from, I got all this when I signed on. It was from like online stuff, I guess. I, I don't really know, to be honest. <laughs> uh, and then we should have another one over here. Okay, oh, we got a few. Okay, so. The Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. We've done the Kelpie statue. Now we've got the wi Wyvern. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Uh, the Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather despite rumors to the contrary possibly started by sir cadogan this is most assertedly not meant to be the wyvern of why, why slain by the lively knight in spite of himself Quests. We've started main quest and side relationship quests. And let's see. Accept that. And let's look at all of this. Alright, so we got those gloves. I do like me some gloves, so uh, I do not like glasses. I do not like hats. Nope. We'll just keep, you know, the normal school stuff on for now until um, we get some more stuff. That seems like a good plan to me. All right, so let's go get these classes done. Uh. All right, so where am I going? This way. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Here, behind 
find you. There's an open seat here. Hi, Natty. Thank you. Hello, I am Netty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a Thank swift you. learner. I Thank see you. a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Thank you. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, <laughs> everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I just love his energy. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so. What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? I don't like this game. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm. That's it! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them to excellent control there. Very good! Very good! Points to Slytherin! Thank you! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. That is how it's done. I know everyone is watching. 
But try not to be nervous. <laughs> Watching. Get it, Natty. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. Yay! I won on the first score. try. Remarkable. I don't usually do that. <laughs> Make this a bit more oh. interesting, shall we? No. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Just go, Natty. <laughs> I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. I swear to God, if you knock my ball off, I'm gonna be mad. Matter and far, I swear. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I couldn't see. Stay focused. I couldn't see. She was in my way. I'm gonna have to do it again. Unless she fails. Oh. Right, there so, we go. No. Even if I get 50, I'm, I still lose. Well done. Still lost. Let's do it again. Oof. Very good, both of you. Well done. Oh, so I don't have to do it again? Oh, thank God. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. 
I'd like to see it. That sounds really cool. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It is. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word of if you would. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. Tell him, Omni. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor it. competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Yes, sir. Appreciated. Uh, isn't there a... Pretty sure there is somewhere. I thought there was. Is there a here? Hmm. Maybe there's not. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Oh. Um. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well. Better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Excuse me, Samantha. Painting is. I can never remember. But I do believe there's one over here for the burning witch. Is there not? I swore there was. But okay. There is, however, one over here. Alright. Augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Does this thing have rebellion? Stop. 
Gott. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso. Hander. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? See Sebastian's little cheeky grin? One Love thing it. I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Let's try something a little larger. Love. <laughs> Poor Omni. <laughs> Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. Yeah. Now, you're well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast. And Protego. You may begin. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Protego, stupid. This is not for your first. Let's get saying on the quick now. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> no idea what that means. Still. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Thank you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, so we're going to end this first episode of Hogwarts Legacy right there. We've got both our classes done today. Looking pretty good. I know, uh, obviously, I need to speak to Sebastian. And we still need to go to Hogwarts, or Hogsmeade, to get all our stuff. But we will do that in the second episode, because I wanted to do kind of a longer one for the first one, so we could get past all of that um, intro stuff, the tutorial type of, type of thing. Um, so I feel like we've done that. We've been to our first two classes. Um, we've dulled Sebastian and kicked his butt. <laughs> and our cute little Vina 
in Slytherin here. I'm so excited to play some more with her. So I will see you guys later.